On this week's tech review, we're going to take a look at SysKit Point and how it can enhance Microsoft 365. Stay tuned. <music> Greetings fellow YouTubers, welcome to the channel, Andy here, so nice to see you. You'll notice this is something new. It's exciting. It's Andy's tech review. And every week what I want to do is take a look at a piece of hardware and a piece of software that complements Microsoft technologies. So we know that we've got Microsoft 365 and Microsoft Azure out there. But I always wonder, you know, there's a lot of companies out there adding things on to bring not only essentially better value, but actually make those products even better. Now, again, this is an unbiased review. So I'm gonna score the, the software or the hardware every week, and you can go out and you can try it. All right, now, if you've not subscribed to my channel, we love subscribers. So hit that subscribe button, ring the bell, and you won't miss out on the good stuff. And comments, questions, and feedback, I love it. So please get them down below and I'll do my best to answer any questions. And any of the products that I feature in my reviews, I'll include details of those and you can go off and you can have a look at them. All right, so without any further ado, this week is the turn of SysKit Point. So what is it and how does it work? Well, let's take a look. So first up, let's take a look at SysKit. Now, this is their website. You can go in and you can have a look. Again, any links here, I will uh, show you those. As you can see, they do another couple of products, but what I'm really interested today is in SysKit Point. So they have a fantastic governance uh, piece of software. Apparently, it's supposed to be very good. So I'm just going to sign up here. I've got a demo account that I'm using. Um, so this is a, uh, a, I'm using a demo 365 account. This is me signing up with their uh, free 21 day trial. So let's take a look at uh, this and how it works. So um, the sign up, okay, it looks pretty good so far. Uh, yes, I want to start my free trial. Okay, I'm always into things that are free. Now, um, I just wanted to see how easy the software integrated with Microsoft 365. So, okay, all right, okay, so it's picking it up. So it's asking me, that's an OAuth request, open authentication. So I'm just gonna click onto that, and it's just telling me that it's, at the moment, it's just gonna read my profile. So that looks fine to me. I'm just gonna accept that, and I'm gonna click on uh, accept and I'm going to continue. So that looks okay, not too invasive. One thing about OAuth tokens is you've got to watch out that the applications don't ask for too many, too much information. Okay, so it's now asking me for my organization name. And again, as I said, I'm just going to use a demo account here um, as I'm just integrating it with my demo 365 account. So I'm just going to call this a datum. And again, it's asking me for my time zone. So just click on to my time zone. And also it's asking me for my region. Now, interestingly, the, 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 it's got the main data center regions. It's a fairly young company, but it's going to be really interesting to see where this goes. So my tenant is in the US at the moment. So I'm going to select the US and I'm just going to go ahead and accept the terms and conditions. Okay, so that's another OR token, and this is asking me for a few more permissions um, because what this is going to do, it's going to integrate with my Microsoft 365 account. Okay, so it looks like it's just reviewing everything that I've done, so that's fine. I am going to accept that, and I'm just going to click on Next. Now, this is actually a recording of, the, of me uh, working with the software, by the way. That sequence that you just saw there, that can take about 15 minutes, by the way, when you're setting it up. So if it does seem a little bit slow, don't worry too much. Um, it is normal because it's integrating into Microsoft 365. All right, so now I'm going to sign in. So um, this is me signing into my account. And I think that's 
pretty much it. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so this is Syskit Point. Let's take a look at the features. So I'd just like to mention that I'm new to Syskit Point. I'm coming into this fresh, fresh eyed. So let's see what we can see. Well, first of all, one of why Syskit Point, first of all? Well, if I go into Microsoft 365 and if I go into my admin center, and um, if I wanted to have a look at teams and groups or um, and have a look at what who's got what permissions, um, I would need to drill into the various screens here. I would need to look at the membership. So who's a, a member, who's a visitor and so on. Um, likewise, if I was going in a user, if I went into a particular user and let's say um, chose, let's say Alex here, um, and I wanted to know which teams or groups was Alex in, um, can I do that? So I, I would need to scroll down, you know, um, so I mean, how many clicks is that? That's quite a lot of clicks that I've had to go into. And also, if I wanted to see more details on obviously licensing, usernames, what features are there, and for example, um, what's the capacity of Adele's OneDrive account? Well, the way that I would have to do that is I would have to go into SharePoint, I would have to drill into the various websites. So, um, no, thank you very much. I don't want to take a tour just now. Um, I would need to go into the various sites and I would need to scroll along when it was last accessed. And you see what I mean? So, although I love Microsoft 365 and it does a truly fantastic job, one of the issues is because it's a forever changing product, it's often hard to find stuff, don't you think? Well, um, this is one of the things uh, that I've discovered about Syskit Point. So basically what we have here is, uh, this is the, well, the home page here. And I can, I've got a window, so various windows to all of my various tools here. Um, one of my favorite ones actually is here in the dashboard. And I, I love, I'm a, I'm a very graphical person, so I like to see things uh, out of pictures. I like to see pictures. So exactly, here we go. Here's my inventory. So it shows me how many sites that I've got, how many teams, um, how many groups do I have, how many sites, uh, how many, you know, OneDrive uh, sites am I seeing here? Uh, and it's showing me, okay, how many, how many licenses do I have here? Just zoom out a little bit there. So um, I love this as well. You know, often telling you how many guest users or external users that you've got, um, at a glance, I can see that. So that's definitely, I, I like this, okay. Storage, um, again, shows me how much storage has been used. And again, it's, it's totaling all of my various assets here. I can also do access reviews. I can view lifecycle management. So things like data loss prevention, uh, retention policies, and things like that. So that's really nice. So I'm just gonna go back to the main page. Let's, let's see what we can see. So I'm gonna drill down on this. Okay, so I can take a nice tour there, that's fine. Um, and as you can see, it's actually syncing with Microsoft 365. So that's nice. Um, okay, so what do we see? Well, okay, I can see all my users. So URLs, now I'm assuming this looks like it's OneDrive. So this is my OneDrive accounts here. Um, shows me who's the primary admin, I love it. When it was last modified. Um, also, it's showing me um, I can manage them. So I can, I can uh, pull off a report if I want to. That's nice. I can also schedule a report, so I can I can create a subscription. Um, and one thing uh, I do know that you can actually run multiple reports as well, so you can you can extract different uh, reports off. 
Um, so I can drill into each of these. So if I, let's go into the groups here. So if I go into the Microsoft 365 groups, um, I can search for content. So here's my groups. So um, I'll scroll down and uh, I'm in Oslo this week. Um, so what have we got? We've got one called sales best practices. Okay, let's skip the tour just now. All right, okay, so what have we got here? So I can see it's a team site. I've got 19 users, um, no anonymous links. That's great, I like that. Um, there's no external users. Uh, it shows me how many documents, what documents are in. I guess I can, yes. So I can, oh, that's cool. I can go in. And I can have a look at, let's say, the permissions matrix. See, now, this is something that Microsoft 365, you've got to go into like five or six different screens for. But this is great. So at a glance, I can just go in here and view that. And again, I can export that report here as well. This is also cool as well. Again, I can um, externally shared content. So at a glance, do we have any externally shared content? Thankfully, no here. So this is good. So the I can go into the various sites and groups. Um, I love that, that it shows you at a glance how many members. I suppose if the, the only critique I would give is I would like it to be a, perhaps a little bit more graphical. Uh, rather, I, I find it a little bit listy, if that makes any sense. Um, but nonetheless, I, I do like it. So it shows me um, straight away how many external um, groups there are. Um, got a filter here as well, so I can filter for all groups. That's nice. I can see like, you know, recently created groups, um, externally shared groups as well. So do we have any external shared groups? No, we don't. That's good. Teams with private channels, okay, so Teams, that's good, that's interesting, no, nothing there, so let's do all groups, um, what else have we got, um, so again, we can go in and we can have a look at that in a little bit more detail, so I'm going to scroll in here, here's my Mark 8 project team here, so I can, at a glance, I can see all my members, I can see their usernames, I can see when they last logged in. That's really nice. Um, you've got analytics and usage here. So again, at a glance, I can see everything. How much space has been used? How many files? Okay, let's go into the files. Okay, so we can see the files as well. Um, again, we can see when they were created. I can extract a report. I like it. I love this. Okay, um, so uh, what else have we got? Um, I like to, let's go back to the home page, uh, users. So let's see the users. So for example, Adele, let's click on Adele. Okay. So now we get to see some Adele, uh, information. So it gives me all her, uh, details, her OneDrive details here. Uh, oops, let me just zoom out there. Um, how many files that she's got that I love that. So I can go in and at a glance and I can see exactly what teams and groups she's a member of or what role she has. I can also see access. So what, what she's been accessing, that's really good. And again, I've got options, admin options here. So I can have a look at the user's permissions. I can block the user's sign in here. Perhaps I want to go in and have a look at the user's activity. So this shows me all her activity. I can drill down into this as well. So this is this is picking this up. And again, I can export that into a report. Love it, love it. Um, again, my only criticism of it, the detail is awesome. The only criticism is I would like to see a bit more graphics in it, but that, yeah, that's just me, I'm just being picky. Um, dashboard. Okay. I love the dashboard. That's one of my favorite things here. Um, oops, what's that? Oh, that's interesting. I like that. Okay. So that's nice. That's good. Um, reporting. Okay. Now this is awesome. Um, so I can go in and have a look at reports, a permissions matrix. 
So I can scroll right down here and again at a glance, I can see the users, who's their primary admin, when the user was last modified. So again, let's have a look at the all company site here. Um, let's just minimize that. So I can see their documents that they've worked on. Um, it looks like you can also customize these as well. Um, I can make it a little bit bigger, make it smaller. I can, let's, okay, that's good. I can filter, so I can filter for object type. And I can also filter for their unique permissions as well. I can click into the site itself. Let's have a, okay, so that takes me to the, into the site itself. I like it, so that's good. And um, again, so you've got all of these different reports, external user, act, oh, that's good. So again, um, check the permissions on your external users. That's something that's definitely missing from SharePoint, don't you think? Um, the fact that you can go in and you can see uh, what the user's external permissions are at a glance. I really like that. And it looks like you can also configure alerts and things as well. So, no, I, I like it. I like it. That, as I said, that's just my initial impressions. What do you think? I would love to know what you think. I'm going to put a, um, a, a link in the description with a link so that you can go on, you can try the trial out, and, and I would love your feedback on it as well. All right. So there you have it. The first of my tech reviews, if you will. Um, it sits on top of Microsoft 365. So definitely a plus, the integration. It seamlessly integrates into Microsoft 365. It pulls everything together. I love it, okay? The reporting is awesome. In terms of governance, the fact that I can, I've got a window to everything, I can see exactly all the permissions, who's got access to what, I love it. Against, I would say, it's a little listy. I would like to see a few more graphics, but these are things that I'm sure that they'll fix. Um, it's a fairly young product, so, you know, I'm, I'm all aware of that. But the, the actual power of the software, I'm, I'm really impressed with that, all right? So I'd love to know what you think. Check it out. You know, I'll put the links to the, uh, the software below. So definitely go ahead, download the trial. Tell me what you think. Um, Andy, you said you were going to score it. I did. I think a seven. I'm going to score it a seven. All right. Um, so there you go. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it. All right. Thanks so much uh, for joining me. If you've not subscribed, bump the subscribe button up there, ring the bell. And you won't miss out on the good stuff. And if you've enjoyed this session, because let's face it, it was the first, um, then bump the like button. It really does make a difference. All right. So I'll see you next time. Thank you so much. Take care. Hey, thanks so much for dropping by today. Here's a couple of videos that you may enjoy. And while you're here, go ahead, click on the subscribe button and you won't miss out.